Um, inductees and guests, please draw your attention to the stage for the beginning of the formal recognition program of tonight's presentation. At this time, we are going to begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. Unfortunately, in the program, it does say Mr. Salpino was going to lead the group. Unforeseen circumstances have prevented him from attending this evening, so I'll simply begin, and if the audience can follow, that would be excellent. So those who are able, please rise for the Pledge to Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Current Row Kappa members, Celeste Cook, Natalie Slusser, Sarah Leffler, Avery McGarry, and Jacob Reese will share the meaning and symbols of Row Kappa. An introduction to Rho Kappa. Candidates, you are being presented for induction in Rho Kappa, a society whose purpose is to honor excellence in the social studies. This chapter at Fleetwood Area High School has been in existence since September 2017 and is the first of its kind in Berks County. It is an honor to be selected for membership organization and I congratulate each of you for attending this distinction. Our name, Rho Kappa, is taken from two words, semitic origin, Rho is derived from resh, meaning head, and kappa is derived from kaf, which means palm of the hand. Both these terms symbolize our firm belief that knowledge without service is useless. Each of you meets the requirements for membership, and this includes superior work in social studies, classes, and participation in school or community service. Your work demonstrates the qualities of industry, initiative, and reliability. The principal purpose of Rho Kappa is to stimulate a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of all the academic disciplines comprising the social studies curriculum. Thus, on this occasion, it is appropriate to take a moment and reflect on the significance and contributions of the social studies in the development of the individual. The white candle represents veritas, or truth. According to Nadine Gordimer, a South African author, the truth isn't always beauty, but the hunger for it is. In social studies, we seek the truth. The truth we seek is untarnished by pre prejudice or bias. It is this search that re leads to greater understanding of the world and humanity's place in it. The green candle stands for Sancia or knowledge. The Greek philosopher Euripides stated, whoso neglects learning in his youth loses the past and is dead for the future. As a member of Rho Kappa, you have the distinction of being one who seeks knowledge in your youth and you are therefore building upon your understanding of the past in order to create a future of your own and that of the world in which we live. represents sapienta, or wisdom. As Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes stated, it is the province of knowledge to speak, and it is the privilege of wisdom to listen. Wisdom is the tool that we use to discern what is true and how to value that truth. represents officium or service. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others, Indian political leader Mohandas Gandhi once said. 
True civic engagement in school or community service lies not within what you do, but why you do it. At this time, current Honor Society members will be introducing each inductee. Inductees will be called to the front of the stage in groups of two, three, or four. Please proceed forward when your name is called. Also for a program note, if you just stay on the carpet, um, and you, the inductees can go as far as the first set of chairs. So inductees, certainly this is your moment to shine. I'd like to welcome Madeline Ammon, Isabella Achina, and Baxter Beal to the front. Madeline Ammon is a senior whose future plans include majoring in ethics at Dickinson and getting her law degree. Her favorite social studies figure is Vladimir Zelensky because he went from comedian to president and helped his soldiers on the front line instead of evacuating. Isabella Achina is a senior whose future plans include attending a four-year university to obtain a degree in business administration. Her favorite social studies figure is Marsha P. Johnson because she was a prominent figure in the fight for LGBTQ plus rights. Baxter Beale is a junior whose future plans include attending the Smeal College of Business at Penn State University. He believes social studies is important to society because it helps individuals make educated decisions and navigate our world. Welcome to Rho Kappa, Madeline, Isabella, and Baxter. I'd like to welcome Eileen Chen, Rohan Chen, and Taylor Clark to the front. Eileen Chen is a junior whose future plans include attending a four-year college. Her favorite social studies figure is Albert Einstein because he is insanely smart and discovered many concepts in the world. Rohan Chen is a junior whose future plans include attending college with his girlfriend to understand this world better. His favorite social studies figure is Oiter because he was good at math and helped the world understand math better. Taylor Clark is a junior whose future plans include receiving a higher education at a university as a communications major focusing on design. To her, social studies is one of the most amazing, amazing subjects to learn for many reasons. While it is amazing to talk about things like our founding fathers or how great nations came and fell, there is more to history than that. Social studies is important because it teaches society what not to repeat in history and how we can improve in the future. Welcome to Ro Kappa, Eileen, Rohan, and Taylor. I'd like to welcome Kaylee Cromer and Delaney Devlin to the front. Kaylee Cromer is a junior whose future plans include studying neonatal nursing at a four-year university. She believes social studies is important because we learn how we became the country we are today. We can learn from our mistakes and not repeat them, which ultimately furthers us as a country. Delaney Devlin is a junior whose future plans include going to college to study nursing to become a nurse practitioner specializing in pediatric oncology. Her favorite social studies figure is Susan B. Anthony because she is a big advocate for women's rights. Although she is associated with fighting for women's rights, she was passionate about abolishing slavery and she believed all people are equal. Her focus on social reform is meaningful to Delaney as we have movements in today's world that Delaney advocates for as well. Welcome to Ro Kappa, Kaylee and Delaney. Next, I'd like to welcome up Jocelyn Dorr, Carissa Dorr, and Jacob Engbert to the front.
Jocelyn Dorr is a junior whose future plans include playing lacrosse for the University of Mount Olive while majoring in biochemistry. She writes that social studies is important because it creates more knowledgeable individuals and strengthens society. Carissa Dorr is a junior whose future plans include playing collegiate lacrosse and studying psychology and political science at Queen's University of Charlotte. She writes that social studies is important so that we can have a better understanding of our world and avoid repeating past mistakes. Jacob Engbert is a senior whose future plans include going to the University, the Indiana University of Pennsylvania to study to become a city planner. He finds social studies important to society because they paint a picture of where we have been, where we are currently, and most importantly, what our future might be. Welcome to Rho Kappa, Jocelyn, Carissa, and Jacob. I'd like to welcome Bianca Finden, Haley Gosser, and Angelo Guangema to the front. Bianca Finden is a junior whose future plans include majoring in biology at a four-year college or university and attending a veterinarian school. Her favorite social studies figure is Rosa Parks because when she was younger and first learned about her, she was inspired by her courage. Bianca aspires to become a woman who finds her own voice and exhibits bravery and independence. Haley Glosser is a junior whose future plans include attending a four-year university and majoring in political science with a minor in psychology. Her favorite social studies figure is Alice Paul because she was a very influential person in the women's suffrage movement. She was dedicated to the cause and did whatever she had to do for her beliefs. Angelo Turguema is a junior whose future plans include attending a university to major in music education to become a music teacher. His favorite social studies figure is Martin Luther King Jr. because he was one of the most influential civil rights advocates during the 1960s movement. When he first learned about him in elementary school, he was one of the select figures that stuck out with him. His efforts to fight against separate but equal laws Jim Crow laws and other inequalities are what allowed people like me, like him, to stand here right now. Welcome to Rogue Kappa, Bianca, Haley, and Angela. Next, I'd like to welcome Haley Holman, Andrew Hawes, and Kaylee Henninger to the front. Haley Holman is a junior whose future plans include going to college for architecture and interior design, as well as playing volleyball in college. She believes social studies is important to society because we are able to learn from the past and make better decisions for the future, and it allows us to better understand the world we live in today. Andrew Hawes is a junior whose future plans include attending a four-year university to study finance. He finds that social studies is important to society because it allows individuals to understand the world that they live in, allowing them to formulate their own ideologies about is issues that occur and how to be best fix that problem. Through examining the past, we as a society learn why, why we are where we are today. It helps us to better learn different facets of the world and better our future. Kaylee Henninger is a senior whose future plans include attending Penn State University to study psychology. She writes that social studies are important to society because of the value they give to our past, our economy, our relationships, and ourselves. Understanding these are keys to appreciating and progressing society. Welcome to Rho Kappa, Haley, Andrew, and Kaylee. I'd next like to welcome Addison Hostetler, Dane Kishbaugh, and Avery Kramer to the front. Addison Hostetler is a junior whose future plans include attending a college to study neuroscience. Her favorite social studies figure is Ida B. Wells because she simultaneously fought for African American and women's rights. During a process, protest for women's rights, she stood in the front with white people, breaking stigma and stereotypes. 
Dan Kishbaugh is a junior whose future plans including attending a four-year university to major in music education. His favorite social studies figure is Confucius because he sought to make education broadly available and stated that the original golden rule, do not, un do, not do unto others what you do not want done to yourself. Avery Kramer is a junior whose future plans include attending Cedar Crest University to major in nursing and play soccer. Her favorite social studies figure is Florence Nightingale because she was very it was the pioneer of nursing. Welcome to Rho Kappa, Addison, Dane, and Avery. Other commitments prevented three inductees from being able to attend this evening's ceremony, so I'd like to acknowledge them at this time. Um, Aidan Gorman is one of those inductees. His future plans are to attend a four-year university to pursue a degree in business. His favorite social studies figure is Desmond Doss. He served as a combat that medic in World War II without carrying a gun and saved 75 wounded soldiers over a 12-hour period. He is a perfect example of bravery and selflessness. Jacob Carnish is another inductee whose plans conflicted this evening. He is a junior and his future plans include attending college to become a physician's assistant. He writes, social studies is important to him because we can learn so much from the past. It teaches us what works and what doesn't work as a society. Also, it helps people make informed decisions about issues affecting them. And finally, this evening, I'd like to acknowledge James Cox's induction into Rho Kappa. He is a junior whose future plans include attending a four-year college to pursue architectural engineering. He writes that social studies is important to society because it teaches the world about past generations failures and helps us to not repeat these failures. Again, um, I'd like to acknowledge James, Jacob, and Aiden. So new members, it is time to complete the Rogue Have a Pledge. At this time, I invite all new inductees to come to the front Please bring your program and just simply line up at the front of the stage, please. Okay. And I also invite the, the present members to come to the microphone to lead the pledge. You may return to your families. I'd like to welcome Laura Mennett, Ian Miller, and James Maleka to the front. Carpet. <laughs> Laura Mennett is a junior whose future plans are undecided. Laura writes that social studies is important to society because it teaches us about everything that came before us and why things are the way they are. It also helps us to plan for our futures and continue to move forward. Ian Miller is a junior whose future plans include attending a four-year college to study education and musical theater. For him, social studies is important to society because we have to know where we have been in order to know where we are going. 
James Maleka is a senior whose future plans include pursuing higher education at a four-year institution and continuing working with people and with community service. For him, social studies is important to society because by examining the past, we find a wealth of knowledge and experience to guide us into the future. As philosopher George Santiano first said, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Welcome to Ro Kappa, Laura, Ian, and James. I'd next like to welcome Hannah Mead, Jessica Pritchard, and Caitlin Pudleski to the front. Hannah Need is a junior whose future plans include attending a four-year university to study sports management and business. For her, social studies is important to society because without it, we will never learn from our mistakes. We must learn about our history to have a better future. Jessica Pritchard is a junior whose future plans include attending a college to get a degree in forensic slash criminal psychology. Her favorite social studies figure is Susan B. Anthony because she, found passion she fought passionately for women's rights to vote and abolishment of slavery. She believed all are equal, and her focus on social reform is meaningful to Jess, and there are many like movements today, such as criminal justice reforms, equal pay, and more. Caitlin Pidleski is a junior whose future plans include going to a four-year college to major in secondary education. Her favorite social studies figure is Abigail Adams. She is her favorite because she was an early advocate for women's rights and is known for her quote, remember the ladies, for all they did to help the create the United States. Welcome to Ro Kappa, Hannah, Jessica, and Caitlin. Welcome Marlo Reimer, Kylie Schroeder, and Taylor Schultz to the front. Marlo Reimer is a junior whose future plans include attending a four-year university to study environmental or forensic science. For her, social studies is important to society because it is something you can learn from. It helps you understand how the world we live in can, came to be, as well as teaches you about different places and cultures around the world. Social studies informs people about the past so that they can make, can make better decisions in the present based on what they have learned. Through this, people can find their role in society and make the most beneficial choices for their communities. Kylie Schroeder is a junior whose future plans include attending college and furthering her education in the medical field. Her favorite social studies figure is Ida B. Wells because she is an advocate for women's suffrage and equality for African Americans. She fought against lynching with her writing and organized African-American schools. Overall, she wanted to be there for equality for all. Taylor Schultz is a junior whose future plans include attending a four-year university to study psychology. For her, social studies is important to society because it teaches us how society came to be the way it is and shows us how to act in the future to improve it. Welcome to Ro Kappa, Marlo, Kylie, and Taylor. Welcome Elena Smith, Megan Smith, and Colin Snyder to the front. Elena Smith is a junior whose future plans include attending college to further her education. Her favorite social studies figure is Milton Hershey because he looked out for others. He created a school for low-income or orphaned children. Also, he put his money into a community for his employees. Even though he came from little, he was able to both build a successful business and care for others. Megan Smith is a senior whose future plans include attending college to achieve her doctorate in physical therapy. For her, social studies is important to society because it allows us to learn about our past and it teaches us about our mistakes and how not to repeat them, as well as learning about the successes and advancements that we have made. Also, studying social studies allows us to make informed decisions regarding our future. Colin Snyder is a junior whose future plans include attending a university for mechanical engineering. He believes social studies is important because it allows us to learn about our past and not repeat it. Welcome to Ro Kappa, Elena, Megan, and Colin. I'd like to welcome 
welcome Francesca Snyder, Ashley Stone, and Megan Stone to the front. Francesca Snyder is a junior whose future plans include attending a college to study music. For her, social studies is important to society because it allows us to reflect on the past and make improvements for the future. Ashley Stone is a junior whose future plans include attending college. Her favorite social studies figure is Elizabeth Schuyler Hamilton because she was a very kind individual to her children, husband, and sister. She founded the first private orphanage in New York City, meaning she wanted to make the world a better place. She was also very forgiving when she chose to forgive her husband, Alexander Hamilton, after he had an affair for months. This is extremely kind, and Ashley wishes to be like her, a kind and forgiving individual. Megan Stone is a junior whose future plans include attending a four-year college slash university. Her favorite social studies figure is Alexander Hamilton because he fought in the Revolutionary War, helped draft and amend the Constitution, and served as the first Secretary of the Treasurer. Hamilton worked against the beliefs of his fellow prominent politicians in order to achieve what he saw as best for a newly independent country. This teaches individuals to fight for what they believe in and that there is always a compromise. Welcome to Rho Kappa, Francesca, Ashley, and Megan. I'd like to welcome Emma Thompson and Jenna Trigger to the front. Emma Thompson is a junior whose future plans include attending the Health Professions Program during senior year and attending a four-year college or university. Her favorite social studies figure is Ruth Bader Ginsburg because she was an inspiration to all young women and was the second woman appointed to hold a Supreme Court justice position. This demonstrates how all women should do what they believe in. Jenna Tregear is a junior whose future plans include to attend a four-year university to pursue an undecided major. Her favorite social studies figure is Albert Einstein because without his work in the fields of astronomy, math, and science, and without his theories of relativity, we would know far less about the world we live in today. Welcome to Rho Kappa, Emma and Jenna. I'd next like to welcome Connor Tucci, Caitlin Valentine, Christina, and Christina Ventura to the front. Connor Tucci is a junior whose future plans include, include going to college to pursue a major in computer science. His favorite social studies figure is Winston Churchill. Connor writes, he was a great man that brought England out from its darkest hour. He made bold speeches, walked amidst the people despite the potential danger, and watched the Nazis bomb England from the rooftops. Even in the most dire straits, Churchill refused to show fear when everyone believed hope was lost. Winston Churchill could have easily decided to hide, but made the most difficult choice to have courage. He stood for England and the whole world against tyranny and evil, never taking credit for his victories and instead only seeing them as people's successes. Caitlin Valentine is a junior who has uncertain future plans. She finds that social studies is important to society because it helps us understand the successes and mistakes that we've already met, made because we can't live long enough to make the mistakes ourselves. Therefore, we need to look back at the past for help so we can continue to improve our society. Christina Ventura is a junior whose future plans include attending a university and starting a career in obstetric slash gynecology or neuroscience. Christina finds that social studies is fundamental to understanding how we function as a society. Social studies provides us with an outlet for direct change so that we may teach future generations what principles should remain a continuity and which should be adapted to progress as a race to ensure the betterment of society. Welcome to Ro Kappa, Connor, Kaylin, Christ and Christina. whose future plans include attending a four-year university and then mortuary school with the goal of taking over her family funeral home. She writes that social studies is important because it teaches us about our past so we can contribute to build a better nation and world for our generation and future generations. Delaney Walker is a junior whose future plans include attending a four-year university. 
She writes that social study allows, her, allows society to grow and evolve from history. By learning from history and past mistakes, we are able to better ourselves as a whole. Emily Westner is a junior whose future plans include attending a four-year university to study political science and public policy. Her favorite social studies figure is Alice Paul, a suffragist, feminist, and women's rights activist during the early 20th century. She was one of the main strategists for the, of the campaign of the 19th Amendment, which prohibits sex dis discrimination in voting on local, state, and federal levels. Paul's hard work inspires Emily and encourages her to keep fighting for the livelihood and treatment of women. Welcome to Rogue Kappa, Emily, Delaney, and Haley. Unfortunately, three members in this group of inductees were unable to attend this evening because of prior commitments. So I'd like to acknowledge that Haley Wojciechowski, Jade Wojciechek, and Catherine Tanis are inducted into Rho Kappa. Haley submitted some biographical information that I'd like to share with you. Haley Wojciechowski is a junior whose future plans include attending university and pursuing a career as a physician's assistant. Her favorite social studies figure is Ruth Bader Ginsburg because she became the Supreme Court's second female justice. Ginsburg expressed her strong voice in favor of gender equality. Before her time in the Supreme Court, she was the director of the Women's Rights Project where she again used her voice to fight for gender equality. Ginsburg was able to fight through challenges to graduate first in her class at Columbia Law School. So we welcome Haley, Jade, and Catherine into Rho Kappa. So to complete the formal induction process, um, I'm going to invite all the new members to come to the front of the stage one more time. Also, if you can have a program, on the back of it is the Rho Kappa Pledge, or have a neighbor next to you with a program to share. But if you can please come to the front, this is a great photo op. <laughs> and now I invite the current members on stage to the microphone to lead the group in the pledge. of this evening's event, I would like to remind inductees that you will receive Rho Kappa certificates in school in the coming days. Now, please welcome high school principal, Mr. Stephen Herman, for some closing remarks. I want to thank everyone for coming out to the Reading Museum tonight. I can't think of a better venue to hold an event like this. Uh, it was very nice to hear the variety of historical figures that the students admire and the, the causes that they represented. Also, I wanted to um, 
take this opportunity to personally wish you the best of luck in all your pursuit of your dreams and all your future plans. So congratulations to everyone for your award this evening. Have a good night.